Uh, what we have going on this morning is actually a Coffee with Cops program. It's a, a national program that started in Southern California some years ago, and it's caught fire and, and seems to be something that's trending across the nation. Uh, the city of Fresno and the Fresno Police Department has engaged in similar activities, but never the name brand Coffee with the Cops. So uh, today the idea is we are coming together, uh, trying to create a relaxed environment, an open environment where we can have folks from the community meet with officers. I place them with some of my officers on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And the idea is uh, we'd like to listen to their concerns, find out what's going on in our community, let, and at the same time allowing the folks from the community to engage with our officers and let them know that we're real people just like them. Right. And I noticed that you have quite a few uh, uh, customers here to speak Spanish, so you, you guys, you have several, you and several other officers are able to speak in, in Spanish with them, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was part of the uh, actual program. Uh, we sent out a flyer. It's Café con Policia, which is uh -huh. coffee with police. And, uh, we do. We're fortunate that we do have uh, several Spanish-speaking officers, and so we, we were able to engage with some of those folks this morning. And it's it's different in the sense that uh, that segment of the community oftentimes feels alienated. Right. They're fearful from coming and uh, forward and talking to police, and that's part of the whole idea behind breaking the barriers. So I'm thinking we should be